noting is one thing, but one pagers are a whole other. Are you struggling with planning and getting started writing your report? When you need a break from the screen or you know, before you even get started, actually, I really would encourage you to take part in this activity and get into creating a one pager. There are so many benefits to them. I found out about one pagers from a podcast that I listened to recently. And so I went to the website and found out a little bit more about why are one pagers so beneficial. And it has to do with something called dual coding. And this was an innovative idea back in 1986, where someone did some research that basically proved that when you combine language with visuals in a creative way, it actually helps you to hold the information in your minds. So you've got information from your inquiry all over the place. You've got lines of inquiry, you've got action, you've got all these things to incorporate. And I want you to focus your one pager just on the ATLs, just on the approaches to learning. Because when all of the facts and all of the research kind of goes from your memory, these are the key skills that you've learned that are gonna stay with you for the rest of your life. So thinking about thinking, social communication, self-management and research skills, you're gonna come up with some icons in a sketch noting format and turn them into a one pager. Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot. It's kind of hard to squish it onto this A4 piece of paper. And so you might be lucky like me and have some scrap A3 pieces of paper lying around, but maybe not. And so I was doing an activity earlier today for the grade twos and experimenting and was using a cereal box. So I'm gonna do my demo sketch note one pager on a cereal box. Let's be resourceful. Start with some sketch noting. Attached to this activity are the approaches to learning. Look at the descriptions for each one. For example, with research skills, presenting your research. What did you do to do that? Maybe you might draw up some icons connected to Seesaw if you created a video to present your research. So start by sketchnoting. Use those simple shapes to draw up some simple little images that you're going to use to fill in a template that's laid out like this. Start out by putting your title in the center, and then in each section, write down one of the ATLs. So you'll have communication, research, social thinking, and self-management. Also include a section for quotes. And in here, you might add things uh, that were inspiring from interviews you did, or things that help see you through the process, like Ms. Karen's famous top tip, which is always start by doing the difficult things first. You can start out by drawing the icons or images that you came up with in your sketch note and then adding the words along the way. Or you can start by just drawing in all the images that come to mind connected to what you learned and then fill in the words around them. It's completely up to you. Write down the things that you really struggled with at the beginning, like with your social skills, Maybe you became much more open-minded as you worked with your group and got to know the people better. Or maybe with self-management skills, you're still struggling with time management, and that is something, an area to work on. So start out by sketchnoting, come up with ideas for images connected to the approaches to learning, draw up your template, and then start filling it in. Start with the icons first and then the writing or do it together alongside each other. Remember to include the learner profile in there as well and which areas of the ATLs they connect to. If you wanna use a different design, that is completely fine. Here's another example. And you may do this activity in the early stages to help your writing or when you've finished your report as a celebration of your learning.